Hello everybody, Assassin here back with another Halo Infinite weekly update video for week number 145. So we have two more weeks left until the next operation, so not really much to report on because they're not really making too many changes, but we did get one big change, or in my mind it's a big change, it's just the biggest change I guess this week, which is multiplayer. So we did get Headhunters, it is the featured mode, it is the brand new mode, and basically in there what you need to do is kill your opponents, collect the skulls, and deposit the skulls in your zone. And basically uh, you do that enough, you'll end up getting the win right there. But let me know in the comments below, after you've ended up putting some time in uh, Headhunters, is it actually good? Do you feel it's good in your opinion? And do you feel it's better than VIP? Because to me, VIP, I mean, it was okay. It's a good addition, but it wasn't anything great. I really haven't gotten any great modes since, I guess, Husky Raid. I guess that was the last of the great ones, in my opinion. But again, that guy kind of goes with what I actually play. So yours is going to be different than mine. Now, 343 also put out a small patch on all platforms. The update does contain stability improvements for the Xbox One. So if you're still playing on, I guess, last gen, I guess it might be a little bit better, the performance. Now, it seems like every time 343 does put out a patch to fix bugs or anything like that, it seems like they break something else. I have not heard about anything breaking. The network seems to be up and everything like that. So let me know in the comments below, do you notice anything broken? Is your pings a bit higher? Things like that. Anything that has changed from yesterday or or I guess the past till today. Now in the last bit of news we are about two and a half weeks until the next HCS Majors event. So look forward to my video when I talk about what the brand new Twitch drops are going to be. I don't have that info right now. It's going to probably pop up in the next I would say week, week and a half. I should have that info then I'll be passing it to you. So look forward to that if you're not really playing Halo Infinite or if you're not really into the Twitch drops. I know it's been a lot of repeats. We're always like that. There's always a lot of repeats in between all of these HCS events and to think after that one we only have one more this year and I believe that one's in October and then after that we don't have anything until the beginning of next year. So it's going to be uh, quite a long time that we're going to be getting just I guess repeat drops for the most part. So bear with me, bear with uh, Halo Infinite. Obviously, if you're only in it to collect those Twitch drops, then that's probably not a good enough reason to actually be playing Halo Infinite. Play it because you enjoy it. That's the reason why I'm not playing it as much as I used to because, because I'm kind of to that point where I want to play some other games, and it's kind of leaving me time to do that. I still enjoy it, but I enjoy it in smaller moderations, not the four or five hours every day that I was trying to put in before. But that's going to be it for this video. If you found it informative, make sure you hit that like button on your way out. But until next time, Assassinator out.